everybody. Welcome to another video of Vintage TV and Radio Stuff. If you are a fan of this channel and have watched lots of videos, you may remember a few weeks back I did a video on an under-the-counter uh, AM-FM radio, uh, the GE Model 7-4220B. Now, of course, you remember that now, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, it looked like this. It was this, this one right here that went under your counter. It had uh, the AM FM radio, it had an actual outlet on the side so you could plug something in with a timer on it so it would go on and off automatically. It had lots of bells and whistles and uh, it, I got it for two bucks at some some garage sale. Well the one underneath here is the one I'm featuring today and this is the uh, GE model 7-4260A uh, and uh, made in the mid-80s and uh, it's sort of the same thing only a little more stripped out as far as features are concerned. It's quite a bit simpler than the uh, first video I did on an under-the-counter AM FM radio plus it features a cassette player. So on one hand the one I, I just showed you a few seconds ago had lots of interesting features on it but this uh, even though it's stripped down as far as the uh, bells and whistles, does have a cassette player, so it has that extra little feature here. And the person who owned it thought enough to keep the original label here on it. So as you can see, it's the uh, Space Maker under cabinet mounted kitchen AM FM radio with cassette player and an electronic digital clock. You can play your favorite tapes in the kitchen. Imagine that. Easily mounts under your kitchen cabinet to save valuable counter space and is styled to complement your kitchen decor as long as it's white, I guess. And there's a nice stylish picture of it right below the sugar and the flour, I guess, in someone's kitchen. Here is the top of the unit, I guess you could call it. This is the part which, of course, is up against the bottom part of your kitchen cabinet, so you never really see this part. Uh, made in China, uh, apparently back in the mid-80s. Here's the front. Not a whole lot of uh, features to talk about, really. It's just an on-off button on the right there for the radio. You just basically push the cassette in, and it automatically plays. There's the fast-forward function, no rewind, and the eject function. On the right side of the radio, you've got your tuning knob, your volume knob, and the AM-FM band switch. On the left side you've got the hour and minute buttons to push to set the hour and the minutes, obviously. No AM or PM here. It's just a 12-hour clock. And on the back the cord comes out and uh, there's uh, the little cord uh, reeling system to sort of uh, tuck it in there and make it look pretty. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention this is where the speaker is, obviously. This would be facing down into the counter area. So now I've got it uh, plugged in, and we will set the time by just hitting the hour and the minutes. And we'll see if it keeps time or not. Simple on-off for the radio. Tuner right here, volume right here. You still have to... Figure out stuff to break down sing, the next sing. week. Yeah. You gotta save some stuff. Yes. Yeah, you gotta save, you gotta pace yourself. But, uh, no tone control, just the volume control. Foster care will love you just show. He did not offer and shared with NPR the events. Okay, so you, you know, you get a good selection of, of FM signals. AM, let's see if anything comes in at all. We have one station, like I've mentioned before here, that comes in. That's a big yeah. number, Bucky, and it brings to mind the game three we got coming up later. Today. Okay, and then you just turn it off to turn off the radio. And to put a cassette in, you simply slide it in. 
Harry threw the cloak around his shoulders and Ron gave a And yank. fast forward by doing this. Before he died, it is time it was returned to you. And eject. <clears throat> Let's see what happens if I turn the radio on and pop in the cassette. Will it? A very, okay. Very just as I thought it would go right to the cassette. There was no signature. So that's kind of neat. You can just, you know, turn the radio on. If you're listening to the music, you don't like it, put your cassette in, and when you, when you pop it out, the radio comes back on again. And that's basically all it does. So this, I'm guessing, was the the lower end, uh, as far as the cost was concerned, version of your under-the-counter radios from GE at the time in the 80s. And if you've ever wondered if, if this sort of concept has gone away, it has not. There are under-the-counter uh, AM, FM radios. There's under-the-counter um, Bluetooth devices, uh, CD players. Uh, it's still there. It still exists because, let's face it, it's still kind of convenient to have something like this uh, in a standard place in your kitchen. So here we are. This is the uh, General Electric Model 7-4260A under the uh, counter or under cabinet mounted uh, AM FM radio with cassette player and digital electronic clock. If you have any comments, leave them below. Like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll have more vintage TV and radio stuff down the road. Thanks for watching.